Aw oh, man, let's go. Country Roll Anime Awards are about to begin, and I'm super... Wait a minute. Where is everyone? Oh, okay. Well, that explains it. Oh yes, it's finally started. I'm super hype about this, and... Another fucking 30 minute wait? Okay, that's it. I'm going back to watching VTubers. A few minutes later. Ah, finally, it's about to start. Oh boy, I can't wait to see how they're gonna host this award. Ah shit, they become VTubers. Alright, best girl award, let's go. I honestly don't need to see this, Chizuru's gonna win. Yep, it's gonna be Chizuru. It's gonna be hard to beat Chizuru, like nobody can compete. And the winner for best girl is... Kakuya Shinomiya. Bro, what the fuck? You know what? I'm okay with this. I'm genuinely okay with this. Okay, so Great Pretender has been nominated for 10 awards. They're bound to win something. The Great Pretender didn't win a single award? What the fuck? The winner of Anime of the Year is... Interspecies Reviewers. The winner of Anime of the Year is... X-Arm. The winner of Anime of the Year is... Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh wow, who would have fucking guessed? Crunchyroll promotes the hell out of Jujutsu Kaisen. Also, Crunchyroll. Oh my god, what a surprise. Jujutsu Kaisen won Anime of the Year? Didn't see that one coming. Alright, so serious breakdown. Crunchyroll 2021 Anime Awards were... Okay, in my opinion. There weren't really too many anime that stood out this year. But hey, I can't really give my opinion on who won, because out of all 34 animes that were nominated, I have only seen like, what, five of them? And yeah, that may be because I was a little too obsessed with VTubers this year, but hey, can you really blame me? Even so, I was genuinely surprised to see shows like Ode Gairu or Golden Kamui not even being nominated. If you know a reason to that, please leave a comment down below. So anyway, let's take a look at the winners for each category. Toiletbound Hanako-kun won Best Character Design. Congrats. Manga readers, we all know you voted for this. Keep Your Hands Off Aizuken won Best Animation and Best Director. I mean, I'm not surprised, Scient Saru did a good job with the animation, and their director just a freaking goat. For best fight scene, My Hero Academia won that, and um, I don't know about this one. So I did see both My Hero and God of High School, and I would say God of High School deserved this award. I mean, God of High School wasn't really that good of a show in my opinion, but damn were the fighting scenes really good. Like the fighting choreography and everything. But hey, it's whatever. So the couple from Tony Kawa won the best couple award. And I mean... Honestly, this was the best choice that anyone could have chosen because half the people on this list weren't even an actual couple. Next was the best performance by a Japanese voice actor. And the winner of that was Yusuke Kobayashi, who played Subaru. Congrats to him, well deserved. So next was the best performance by an English voice actor. And the winner of that was Zeno Robinson, who played as Hawks. So I saw My Hero Academia dubbed, and I have to say, Robinson's performance of Hawks was superb. I mean, the guy is really talented. When voting for this category, I had a real hard time trying to choose between him and Jonah Scott, but I ended up voting for Zeno Robison. So moving on, the best girl award went to Kaguya, and I was kinda upset about this. I really wanted Chizuru to win, but hey, I'm fine with this. Why Crunchyroll? Why? Why? The best boy was won by Hinata from Haikyuu, and I was like, eh, okay. I wanted Anos to win, but I was like, it's whatever to me. So Kevin Pinkin won Best Score for Tower of God, good stuff. Beastars won Best Opening Sequence, and I was kind of surprised about this because I thought Jujutsu Kaisen actually kind of deserved this because their opening was a freaking bop. And don't get me wrong, Beastars opening was freaking good. I really liked how it sounded, how it's really unique from different openings. But Jujutsu Kaisen's opening just gives me hype every time I listen to it. <laughs> Moving on, Jujutsu Kaisen won Best Ending Sequence and Best Antagonist. Then Best Fantasy went to ReZero, Best Comedy went to Love is War, and Best Drama went to Fruits Basket. And finally, Anime of the Year went to Jujutsu Kaisen. Some people were mad about this, some people were happy about it. 
All I gotta say is congrats to Jujutsu Kaisen on winning Anime of the Year. So yeah, it's an award banquet. So there's gonna be people that disagree with who won and whatnot. But it's still fun to watch these things and see what the majority of the anime community likes the most. And really, isn't coming together as a community to support the anime industry that has given us so much what really matters? No, because Chizuru didn't win, you dickhead. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. It's been a while since I've spoken to any of y'all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for the recent support on all my videos, and I do really appreciate every single one of you. If you want, please like this video and consider subscribing today if you haven't already. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below because I like hearing from y'all and I love getting to respond and interact with y'all. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, the link will be in the description. But with that, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.